Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are looking at, you are watching us from. God bless you for joining us online. And my name is Pastor Philip Amwako. And then we are doing a 40 days online prayer and fasting. And you know, from 1st January, you need to fast, you need to pray, you need to have an encounter with God. And I believe that you are joining me from 1st January and to 8th February. That's my birthday. And we're going to pray. That's why we are here. We are about to pray. Listen to the gospel and pray for like 20 to 25 minutes. You'll be with me and we'll pray. And you can share the page wherever you are. Share the page. Share the page. Let somebody also watch. Share the page. Pastor Philip Amwako. Share the page. As you are sharing the page, somebody too will share the page. You'll be blessed. Today we'll talk about what? The devil is not after dry head. The devil is not after dry head. If I talk about dry head, I'm talking about head without oil. A head without what an anointing oil you see when your head is dry the devil does not waste time on dry what heads why so anytime i speak that people should what go after oil go after anointing oil. go after anointing go after power any head without oil is a life without what without future if your head lacks oil your luck your life lack future so any head that doesn't have any oil lacks for the future so i believe that you watching me you are going to look for what oil so go and look for what oil than searching for brazilian hair brazilian hair will not take you anywhere but if you lack oil in your head you will not get what you want 2022 i believe that you will do that your spiritual your spiritual head must what never lack oil your spiritual what, head must never lack what oil i believe that as you are watching me the anointing of god will fall upon you wherever you are watching us from we are going to pray that at oil you get that encounter you get that oil upon your life that you can what you can fulfill your dream you can fulfill your mission if you want to what have a um, future in life if you want your ministry to move on if you want whatever you are doing to go on you need to search for an oil you see look for what look for oil before you look for a puppet many people look for puppets they look for a state to perform but they don't have any oil so i believe that you want you must look for oil before you look for a puppet you look for oil before you look for a stage you can a state can deform you that oil if you don't have any oil you don't have any anointing a stage can what deform you and i believe you watching me without that oil the anointing he said without anointing every yoke shall be what broken so you have any yoke if you have any burden and this will be that so be that so won't even real you need to get the oil the oil activates what power without the oil you can never what move on is it any marriage without oil has no future any work without oil has no future any business without oil has no future you will struggle to work you will struggle to do whatever but because it's not backed by oil you don't have any future i pray that you will look for oil before you look for a puppet man of god look for oil before you look for a stage look for oil jesus came he looked for what oil because he was being anointed first and then john baptist anointed him before he went to look for what a stage so i believe as you are listening to me and sharing the page you what you look for oil any ministry without oil doesn't have a future if you have what a ministry and there's no oil backing the ministry there is no future so I pray that you will look for oil. Now let's look at something. You see, a car without engine oil is useless. If you have a car and there's no engine oil in the car, when you move the car, the engine breaks down. So you see, even car needs what? An oil. That means the oil is a protector of the car. So you to the anointing is a protector of your performance. So if you don't have anointing, if you don't have oil upon your head, you will lack what? Performance. Any car without oil, as I said, will damage. Get oil before you have to think about performance because the hair without oil can never perform. So to perform in church, to sing, even a singer, if you get five people singing here, praying here, and you see one will be singing better. Why? Because that person has what? Oil. So today I came to tell you that you need oil before you can what? Perform. Any Christian without oil has no future. So oil is a protector of life. So oil empowers you to go far. If you don't have oil, if you don't have, you don't have anointing, you can never go far. So you need to get oil so that you can what? You can go far. I believe that the oil that I'm talking about, you understand. Be in your room, learn your Bible, pray, and what? And seek for the anointing. If you seek for power, you can go far. Many people will look for stage before they look for oil. But you see, it will never work for you. But seek for the anointing, seek for the oil, seek for the power, and you will go what? Far. You see, the devil don't what? Waste time on dry heads. 
The devil does not waste time on what? On a dry head. Even that dry, if, if, if your head is even dry, it's even an attack. When your head is dry, it's an even an attack upon your life. So the devil does not waste time upon what? Dry heads. So if you have dry head, that means you don't have any oil. You yourself, you are an attack yourself. But the devil always attacks people with what? Oil. So let me tell you this this morning. I came to tell you wherever you are watching me from, share the page, share the link, tell somebody to watch that you need oil. You need what? Oil. Open your Bible to second Samuel chapter 5, verse 17. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 17. And look at what the Bible says. Second Samuel 5, verse 17. He said, Now when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David over Israel, all the Philistines went up. To search for him. When the Philistines ate, you see, that I mean, the anointing speaks. When David was not anointed, nobody chased him. You see, when the Philistines ate, that I means anytime people hear that you are anointed, they come up to you. You see, it was not one person, a whole nation came after David. Why? Because he was anointed. When the Philistines heard that they had anointed David, king of Israel, all the Philistines went and searched. Oh, David. So the oil speaks. When the Philistines say, that, that means the oil always will speak. So oil, anointing upon you, can take you far. You don't struggle. Why? Because the oil speaks. So when they heard that David was anointed, that means when David was not anointed, not to him, he was in the wilderness. Nobody cared about him. But the day he was anointed, ah, the Philistine, a whole nation, you watching me, let me tell you, because you are anointed, because you have that power, because you have that oil, people are looking for you. People are fighting against you. People are fighting against your business, your children. Uh, you, uh, I mean, you, 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 because of the anointing you carry, there are attacks upon your life. But today, let me tell you, I'm going to pray you, that anointing, that can break you, that anointing, that can destroy everything, that anointing, when it comes upon you, people will look for you, people will search for you, people will come for you, people will exalt you, people will come and look for you. So you see, your uh, said, if you carry oil, they will, uh, they will hear you. That means when David heard was what, without oil, as I said, nobody came for him, because oil itself is an announcer. The oil can announce you wherever you stand because of the oil, because of the power, it announces you to people. People know who they are talking to. You see, without the anointing, you can never go far. You see, when the Philistines heard that King David, David was anointed what? King over Israel. They came to what? To look for him. If you lack, if your hair lack oil, your life will lack blessings. So oil comes with what? Blessings. Blessings means what? Blessing means what? God, favor, and protection. If you go to the uh, Greek words, barak, means what? God's favor and what? Protection. So that means blessing is not money. We have prosperity, yedie, anyway, in Shira. If you are blessed, it's different from what? Yedie. So blessing is what? God's what? Favor. And if you are favored in God's eye, whatever that you want, so all those things are what? Are yours. So when you are blessed, you are favored, but without the oil, you lack what blessing. Check the Bible, nobody started anything without oil. No great person in the Bible started anything without what oil. You see, when you are anointed, when you are anointed, everybody, everybody knows what who you are. You see, when you read Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, he said, In your mother's womb, whether I knew you, that means you were anointed. Jeremiah was a great man. He was anointed in where? The mother's womb. Without oil. Check the Bible. All the great men in the oil. In the Bible, they had what? Oil. All the great men in the Bible has what? An oil. I wish I read Jeremiah for us to, if it's not time, Jeremiah chapter number. Show me number chapter number five. Uh, if I yeah, Jeremiah chapter one verse five, and look at what happened to Jeremiah. I believe that if you seek oil, you are seeking a good thing. Don't go and look for Brazilian hair. Brazilian hair will not take you to anywhere. Share the page. Let somebody also watch. Share the page wherever you are. Share the page. Comment, like, and let the whole world listen. We are having a forty days prayer and fasting. And I believe if you pray with us, 
and you you be with us, it will be what well for you. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I was formed, I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. I ordained. That's oil. I ordain you a prophet to the nation. So if you are not ordained, if you are not if you don't carry the anointing, you will never succeed in life. You will be here like that, but you need to carry oil. And with that oil, there will be attacks. People will come after you. People will come and struggle with you. So I believe that if you have oil, God will what? Will always be with you. He said, without the oil, without oil, nothing can what work. Let's open the Bible to Jeremiah. That's one person, Jeremiah. Jeremiah carried oil in the mother's I'm trying to tell you, people who had what? Who had an encounter with God? Who carried oil and what they did? Open your Bible to Judges 13. Judges number 13. Uh, we read about Samson. Samson too was what? Ordained, was anointed. You know what? In the mother's room, Jeremiah, uh, Judges 13 verse 3, he said, And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed you, Indeed, now you are barren and have borne no children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. Now, therefore, please be careful not to drink wine or what? A uh, similar drink and not to what? Eat anything unclean. For behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come upon his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel of the hands of what? The Philistines. So you see, Samson too was what ordained in the what? In the womb. Samson was blessed in the womb. So you see, without oil, you cannot move far. Without oil, you can never ever penetrate where you want to go. You need to seek oil. You need to seek oil. David, the day he was anointed, the whole world knew it. The day the anointing fell upon his head, people came. To, uh, to attack him. You see, the Philistines, a whole nation, that means the oil attracts enemies and the oil attracts blessings. But the good thing is that when the enemies come, because of the anointing, nothing can fight against you. So I pray about who? Jeremiah. John the Baptist. Let me add one. Um, um, Luke chapter 1, verse 15. Luke 1. Share the page as you are opening your Bible. Luke chapter 1, verse number 15. Uh, Luke chapter 1. We are going to pray. We are about to pray right now. Luke chapter 1. Verses number 15. Luke 1 15. All right. What does the Bible say? Luke 1, verses number 15. He said, For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will be filled with what? With what? The Holy Spirit. In the mother's womb. So you see, they asked John the Baptist, Who are you? He said, I am the voice. You see, I am the voice in the wilderness. When you carry oil, you don't need to what? To shout. You carry the voice. You are what? The voice. So John the Baptist was ordained. He said he was filled with the Holy Spirit in the mother's womb. I'm talking about anointing. I'm talking about power. I'm talking about fire. So the devil does not chase a dry head. Oh, he doesn't need it from you. But if your head is anointed with oil, if your head is anointed with oil, nothing, nothing can come against you. Every level attracts a new devil. You see, the oil has what? Levels. Every level of oil attracts a new devil. So you see, the more the oil, the more what the devil comes to. But let me tell you, David was anointed three times. So David had a three-phase power. So you see, David went to fight Goliath. And what happened? Saul said, ah, let me give you the armor. Let me give you the, 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 the spear, whatever. He said, no, I'm going what? with the name of what? God, the anointing. So David never had any protection, but he had God's favor and protection. That is blessing. He didn't have money. He didn't have the, uh, the, the things to fight. He didn't have any shield or armor. But he said, I have God's blessing. And even Saul said, go, the Lord is with you. What you need this 2022, that God should be with you. That God should come with you. That God should always be with you. We are going to end. You are going to pray. We will continue this message at uh, part two. And this what the, uh, the devil does not change what the dry what head. The devil does not change the dry. A whole nation went after David. Every level attracts a new devil. The oil is the answer to all life emergency, agencies, and eventuality. The oil and the line is what we are ending here. The oil is the answer. Of what to all life emergencies see, your life you have an emergency you have things that you have to do but let me tell you the oil 
uh, has the answer to all life emergency agencies and eventualities so any eventualities in your life any agencies in your life whatever you want to do without the oil without the power without the anointing without the fire without the holy ghost you are nothing 2022 be wise even the wise men seek jesus wise men went to seek jesus because the man was anointed so he said jesus christ was anointed to do what good we we we, we will come there to do good and so that means Jesus, how God anointed Jesus. So even if Jesus needed anointing, Master, you and I, we need more than that. Even Jesus needed anointing. How God anointed Jesus. With what? With power. Let me tell you, if you don't have anointing, you are lost. Today we are going to pray that Lord give us anointing. Lord give us power. Lord give us what? This power. So that we can also ah. Uh, Breakthrough. Pour your oil upon us. Send your anointing upon us. Give us the Holy Spirit. 2022. We need the Holy Spirit. Make it a prayer with me. Move into this new Jesus Christ. You are destroyed by oil. Yes, Lord. Not tongues. Tongues yes, Lord. without oil is fake. Yes, it's nothing. So you see, with that anointing, every yoke shall be what? Broken. broken. So yokes are broken by what? Oil. We are yes, praying yes, that Lord. every yoke Jesus. of poverty, yes, every yoke of cancer, Jesus. every yoke of arthritis, Jesus. every yoke of poverty, Jesus. every yoke of ability, broken. every yoke of one name, every yoke that is upon you, any miscarriage, any yoke that is destroying your family, we are praying now, now as as we are praying now, let the anointing break every yoke, in the name of Jesus. Let the 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 the
Father, we thank you for the anointing. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the power. Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. You're watching us gobbling so much. We will bring the part two of what? Um, the devil does not chase while the dry head. You just watch out for the part two. As we said, we are doing 40 days online prayer and fasting. And I believe you're watching us. You are blessed. Tell a friend that to tell a friend that they should watch us every day from this 1st of January to 8th of February. That the Lord will give us power and what a power, a grace uh, to finish 2022, to finish what we are doing. I pray that anointing will lead you. Father, we thank you and bless you. Wow, hey, I mean, shall. I mean, shall we be our here with what? Minister Francis, who is helping me here. And we are praying and we are doing whatever we are doing. God bless you and see you again. Bye-bye.